Prince Harry has slammed world leaders for a global assault on democracy and freedom in an address to the United Nations General Assembly today, Monday. Speaking this afternoon in New York to commemorate the life of Nelson Mandela, the Duke of Sussex reflected on the former South African leader's life, revealing a treasured picture he still hangs on his wall was of the anti-apartheid activist with his late mother, Princess Diana. In a series of scathing remarks, he criticized world leaders for the many crises currently being faced. Condemning inaction on climate change, he stated, As we sit here today, our world is on fire. The prince told delegates, This has been a painful year and a painful decade. We're living through a pandemic that continues to ravage communities in every corner of the globe. Climate change, is, wreaking havoc on our planet, with the most vulnerable suffering most of all? Referencing Putin's horrific invasion of Ukraine and the U.S. Supreme Court's recent decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, the Duke decried the few weaponizing lies and disinformation and lies at the expense of the many. From the horrific war in Ukraine to the rolling back of constitutional rights here in the United States, we are witnessing a global assault on democracy and freedom, the cause of Mandela's life. Prince Harry's comments to the UN are not the first time he has made an intervention on U.S. politics. In 2020, he, along with his wife Meghan Markle, urged Americans to reject hate speech in the run-up to the U.S. presidential election. The pair moved to Los Angeles in March 2020 to live permanently in America, after stepping back as full-time royals. He is one of many royals to campaign about the need to stop climate change, and last year the Duke and Duchess of Sussex pledged to make all their business activities carbon neutral by 2030. The Duke told the UN, as happens so often in history, the consequences of some of the most powerful people in some of the wealthiest countries are being felt even more deeply across the continent of Africa. The pandemic, the war and inflation have left Africa marred in a food and fuel crisis, the likes of which we have not seen in decades. Worst still, this comes at a time when the Horn of Africa is enduring one of the longest droughts it's faced in close to half a century. What is happening in Africa is not an isolated event. The drought there is a reflection of extreme weather we are seeing across the globe. As we sit here today, our world is on fire, again. These historic weather events are no longer historic. More and more, they are part of our daily lives, and this crisis will only grow worse unless our leaders lead. Unless the countries represented by the seats in this hallowed hall make the decisions, the daring, transformative decisions, that our world needs to save humanity. Commenting on the booze, Patrick said, Yeah, I would have booed Harry and Meghan. Would you? Dr. Cassidy explained, I think we have to take this into context, Patrick, they made these choices to go off and make money, and so we have to allow them that opportunity. And many people like the Queen will definitely have regretted this move, the Queen is full on revealing who she is, her authentic self. But also let's remember, Meghan and Harry, when they chose to opt out, they are also making very clear revelations about their authenticity. So we can see how liberal they have become to maximize on their titles and to do their own thing and we cannot deny anyone the chance to do their own thing," he defended. Dr. Cassidy continued, but it doesn't look as though it is working out and what we are seeing here now is the Queen revealing her core personality traits. She is showing us her graciousness, that is why we are singing God save our gracious Queen, long may she reign. Her graciousness comes from her deep-rooted Christian faith, that is why we are now seeing a case of the prodigal son. Despite interventions from royals and avid climate campaigners Princes Charles and William, Last year's COP26 summit in Glasgow was panned by activists for failing to secure an agreement that would adequately deal with global warming. Global leaders were told they had not done enough to stop the global average temperature rising by 2 degrees, the point at which climate scientists predict the devastating effects of climate change will become exponential. Prince Harry had been invited to the UN to give an address to mark Nelson Mandela International Day. There, he described the late South African statesman as a man with the weight of the world on his shoulders who endured the very worst of humanity but was still able to see the goodness in humanity. He added that even when confronting unimaginable cruelty and injustice, Mandela, always had a smile on his face.